For today's video, I got the OptiLube XL fuel additive. This is an empty bottle. I tested six tanks with this in there. And this is their maximum lubricity blend. Um, this one's the best, as far as I'm aware, of lubricity that's even on the market for fuel additives. And there's two different ways you can do this. You know, this says the bottle can treat 80 gallons. Now that's the standard treatment. To do a full treatment, this would treat about 40 gallons, and that's what I did. I dumped this whole thing in with each tank for those six tanks to see how things would go. Um, I think this has a little bit of injector cleaner in it, but it's a very simple additive, not much in the way of uh, special things in there. So this is really focused on lubricity, pure lubricity, and for a lot of people, that's the most important thing to them. So this would be worth considering if you're one of those people. Now, the fuel economy results were actually pretty good. If you were a uh, subscriber to my channel, you know I've looked at a bunch of fuel additives and I can't really find any that actually help fuel economy. There's a case to be made that this one actually helped. So let's come over here and take a look at our fuel economy data. So for the last 12 months, we have averaged 18.1 miles a gallon. Uh, this is an 03 Dodge Ram, 2500 on uh, 35 inch tires, diesel. So we've averaged 18.1. I do almost 100% highway miles. The prior six tanks before I started testing this additive was 18.05. Um, now those tanks were largely in the month of January, February, the, the coldest month of the year here. Granted, the weather was in the 60s and 70s in the day. Not very cold, but colder than 90s that we normally have. Um, 18.05 was the result there, so yeah, we were a little bit below the 12-month average, that's why. Um, these tanks that we used at OptiLube XL also mostly in February, just a couple tanks there at the tail end in March. Um, there's our tanks and you can see 18.46 is the average of these five. I excluded this one because I was pulling the, the uh, gooseneck back here. I was pulling the gooseneck in that and it brought down, unfairly brought down that one. So I threw that one out of the test but we still got 17.59. Granted, I only towed it about 30 miles, but I think that was enough. That was the difference between this one being above 18 and, and being down there at mid 17s. 19.17 to start things off. I was questioning whether that was a um, coincidence or, or what, but that was one of the better tanks I've ever had on 35 inch tires. Uh, so I figured it would be a, a big swing. Maybe the pump was uh, underfilled the truck and we would have a huge drop off in this tank. No, we did not. In fact, we had a, a better than average tank to follow it up as well. So that was pretty impressive and that kind of validated this first tank. Uh, after that, we got into more normal 18.19 and 17.71. Those are very normal ones. And then we had another good one in here too. So this is only a small test. But I said that we need to see at least a third of a mile a gallon to uh, make the case that this isn't just margin of error or coincidence, that this additive actually helped. And we did get that third of a mile a gallon improvement. So this is probably the best luck that I've had so far. And I just wanted to make a video to uh, share my experience with it. So I hope you all found this informative. Have a good one.